Hey everybody, this is my review of the Harbor Freight Greenwood Propane Torch. Now this propane torch gets incredibly hot. It's got piezoelectric ignition, that means it's got a push button starter. It basically hooks into a regular propane tank like for a barbecue, and let me tell you, it puts out some major heat. Now one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that a standard propane tank has a male fitting on the outside and it's threaded on the inside as a female fitting. And when you go ahead and turn this, it's gonna be the opposite way of what you're used to. Now, it comes with some little cheap wrench, but it's really flimsy. Just use a crescent wrench. You don't need any pipe tape or anything like that. You just wanna make sure this is nice and snug. If you really wanna be safe, you should go ahead and turn it on. Make sure that this valve is off and you'll hear a shush and then also run some soapy water here. So I just got dish detergent and some water and this part will bubble if there's a leak. So we're good. Now before I actually try to light it, let me tell you, I've been a little disappointed with this. The lighter doesn't work consistently. This whole thing costs about $30 with this electric igniter, but I've actually had problems with it right here, coming apart. Here, I'll show you. Basically this part comes out, comes out really easily, and then you're not gonna get a spark. Okay, to light it, turn this, you hear that? And then press this button. And that was, I was, that's what I was talking about, that push button igniter has not been consistent. Okay, so what I'm using this for today is trying to burn this carpet burrweed. This is one of those little sticky things that sticks in the bottom of your feet every spring. I didn't want chemicals, so I'm gonna try to burn it. The grass will regrow, but this stuff right here, I'm just gonna try to incinerate it. You can see that it does a really good job. I mean, this is just right down to dirt. And what I'll probably do is reseed this with grass seed. Um, but you see how much I have to do? Basically everything that's green is this carpet burrweed and everything that's all dried and dead, that's just regular grass. So I needed a big propane torch for this job and it's definitely gonna work. But you know, you gotta be patient with some of the starting and operating of this thing. And honestly, I wouldn't even bother with the electric ignition. Let's see how it does roasting a marshmallow. I think it's a little overcooked. As you can see, this is a really dangerous spot right here. I walk out here several times a day and this is just slick as snot. It's all ice. So let's go ahead and give it a try with the torch. Well, as you can see, that torch did a great job melting the ice off these stepping stones. There's no rock salt that basically will kill my plants, my grass. And you know, it's not gonna do your whole driveway, but did this walk path really well. I'm actually really impressed. This took me, oh, maybe between 20 minutes and a half an hour. But even though it's below freezing today, you know, it actually evaporated a lot of this, so it's not gonna refreeze. I think it did a bang up job. So my overall rating of this Harbor Freight propane torch is, let's say a four out of five. It's a really good propane torch for the money. You're talking about 20 bucks for the one without the igniter. And I mean, it really does the trick. If you wanted to start fires, brush, brush piles on fire, stuff like that, uh, I'd definitely give it a thumbs up.